Hi there, it's Simone. I would like to share a flip through my knitting journal with you today. I have been keeping this for one and a half years now, I think. Um, I keep it, it is a B6 size. I keep it in this MLG and Co. Mystics Little Gifts and Co. Um, carbon leather is the leather leather it's gray with turquoise or teal stitching and teal elastics i purchased this from the bst group and i am just so much so in love with the whole notebook that this is something that i will never get rid of i have this charm that came in a coco daisy kit on the front because i just feel like it fits perfectly um, with the colors and that's again this whole thing will just stay the way it is um, because I just like it the way this way so I have I'm using how many strings three of the four strings that are included in the notebook let me see where there is one empty one in here and the notebook has um, two pockets, one in the front, one in the back. And in the pockets, I am keeping this tag from a Delphonics pouch. I am keeping lists that I don't really know what they are for. I haven't opened this in a long time because this is not something that I update oops, look at this, <laughs> that I update very frequently. And I'm totally okay with that. Um, that is also why I am keeping a post-it note on the front where I actually used to write down which photos I want to print to add to this. I have since moved from um, this post-it note to keeping an album on my phone that says knitting. Um, and all the photos that I take that I want to put into this journal go into the album and once I printed all the photos out, I will remove them and then keep on adding while I'm going, if that makes sense. It's like a, um, a, a box, collecting box for virtual photos and once I'm uh, printed them, them, then I'll just empty the box out and start new. This is set up kind of like a bullet journal. And what I have, I just number all the projects that I make um, and put them in the front. I also started adding a list of instructions that I keep in here, but um, yeah, this has faded off. Some I do keep in here and some I don't. And so I'm just, I'm just gonna go flip through. Oh, no, hold on. I added one of the number sets from Coco Daisy. They go from 1 to 31 um, from one of their monthly kits um, into the back. So I can use a sticker for each of the projects that I'm starting. This book or my projects are not up to date and I'm absolutely okay with that. I, um, I think I have it on my list for January that I want to uh, print photos and update the book but I'm I'm totally fine the way it is right now um, I am adding in here everything that I um, can find photos so this was a yarn shop that I went to the business card I just stuck it on top of here here I took notes in my knitting bag of the um, I, I don't think I knit them. I don't really know why I actually, what happened here, but I just need, thought I needed to take note of the way that I finished this sock, maybe because I wanted to repeat it on another one. And so if I liked this, I would do it on the next one. Here's a photo of the finished project. And this is uh, the information that I wrote down for this project. This is the yarn that I used for it and everything just goes in here and I don't have a specific 
style. I don't have um, any expectations of this notebook. Just I'm the thing that I want to do is keep a, a note of the project that I'm working on and that I finish and how I'm the yarn that I use the needles that I use, a pattern that I use, things like that. So these were started in 2014. I finished the first one and I finished, yeah, I finished the first one. I started the second one on April 20th of 2018. This is how much progress I have made. I haven't committed to finishing this yet and I'm absolutely fine with that too. This is something that is really strange to say all the time right now because in other areas of my life, like journaling, I am very, very stressed by the fact that things aren't finished. Um, with my knitting, this is not the case. And I'm really okay with the fact and I'm trying to um, get that same mindset onto other things as well. I will definitely go through projects that I have started. I don't know in what inter interval I want to do that, but, um, and see if I still like them, if I want to keep them for longer and try to finish them. But um, with this one, it's definitely not the case because I have already finished one sock. So there is a photo of the socks that I was working on. I have since trashed this sock because I'm not going to knit another one. I knitted this one for my son when he was way younger. I didn't finish the second sock and his feet are much bigger now. So I just I decided not to worry about the wasted yarn. Um, this Getting this out of my life was much less stress than making another one for someone. Um, I'm... Every time I'm purchasing something like these uh, two balls of yarn, I'm adding them in here. Here's the price tag. This is where I purchased it. Um, I added a date stamp. And this is not in chronological order. Wherever I have space, I'm adding stuff. This is another pair of socks that I actually did not finish because I did not like the way the heel turned out and I actually didn't really care for the yarn. So I decided to just scrap it. And um, I will definitely go back in here later and uh, write down here that I frocked these socks. These are measurements for project bags that I'm making multiple times. That's why I put them in here. These are patterns that I'm using over and over again. These are yarn balls that I wound at my friend's house. This is a purchase that I made and the business card. This is a receipt where I purchased these two skeins of yarn, one for my friend, one for myself. And then this is the one of the instructions that I didn't finish because that's the heel that didn't turn out. So I left myself two pages and once I noticed that this didn't work. Um, I just added another haul photo in here. This is the card that I received from Fuzzy, Fuzzy Green Fibers. This is the yarn and I, I took a photo and just added it in here. It kind of looks like a little bit of junk journal style and the base that I'm using is a Coco Daisy B6, B6 Daisy Dory insert. It is actually a monthly planner. I have more of these. This one is from November. I think this was from April. And I'm just using the next page. Don't care what the design is on there. Don't care about any writings in here. I'm just using this as a as a background. Then here I'm off. I'm adding presents that I make for people and or that I receive. And I used these spaces to just add one photo and add one present per line. So there's still space for more. Then I have a wish list, which I since moved to my Ravelry favorites in queue. And then I had a sewing ideas list and I have a project travels notebook now where I keep all the ideas that I might want to do one day in. And so I'm not continuing with those anymore. 
there's a list that I a list pad that I have and these are things that I wanted to work on there's still projects that are in my stash somewhere again I don't worry about this maybe I'll use this list in in my travels notebook because I I just like the way it looks and it's ancient by now this is a German she doesn't even make um, sell designs anymore but I just it was something that is from my past so this is a finished project I finished this one in June and I just added so I kept oh this one yeah I, I wrote down um, some dates I added the belly band of the yarn I added my list that I used to count I added some more photos that I had here I just paper clipped it on these are some progress photos and then um, yeah that's that I always have a project page on Ravelry as well but I just like the way this looks then I started adding my sewing projects in here as well and so I finished this um, quilt for my mom I added the pattern here this is um, fabric that I purchased to finish the quilt and then here is the finished top and back back and I think I have a photo that I need to add here as well and then this is that page there's a quilt that I still want to work on I I decided to make one page for this there's more incoming mail and hauls here I went to Monarch Knitting again um, and I purchased these two skeins then this is fabric that I purchased while I was on that out that day I started the second avenue wrap or shawl don't really know this is the receipt this is the yarn that I'm using and I again this is on hold right now I'm not really um, inspired to work on this and I decided to make two different color combinations and see which one I like best in the end I went with this one but this was a runner-up as well these are things that I sewed this is a project that I started and haven't finished this is a project that I started and haven't finished I want to put this in here that's why it's here I started making dish scrubbies from red heart scrubby yarn I have made some but I still need to make some more I think I made my one my friend Tina one but um, I wanted to give each of my siblings one and I haven't done that yet and then I have started a list of um, cables for my interchangeable needles uh, just to see how much I have of those and um, so I have two of the one of the 22 inches and I also I think I'm st going to start a list of the needle tips that I have as well because I uh, purchased more I have the whole interchangeable set and now I just need to keep track of how many I have of each of the needle tips then I started this let's stitch together shawl I did not I frocked this project as well because I made so many mistakes that um, I couldn't finish um, but I'm determined to start this one again so I'm leaving it in here and not I'm gonna add when I frogged it and then I will add it when I have room for a new cast on then this is planning I, I wanted to start knitting the May cardigan I wasn't sure for a while if I really was going to use that pattern but I decided to go with it I have um, I wrote down how much yarn I would need and what colors I would like to use for that and um, yeah I have purchased yarn for this cardigan and I just need to sit down and knit then I took notes for dyeing yarn with food coloring and I actually did dye yarn with food coloring 
and I want to experience some more. So that's why I left this page open. And then I have another, oh yeah, I sent in uh, some of my crochet hooks. They were all falling apart. The material for the um, grip was really sticky. And so I told them that I do not, I purchased them and I didn't like them. And so they replaced all of them. So that's done. And I could have taken one of those, but I decided to go with a plain notebook. I don't remember where I received this one from. Um, I want to do another one of those covers. I made this using a stamping block like this. I think that is exactly the one that I used. I just added stamps on here in a pattern and then I repeat stamped the same thing over and over again and created a pattern um, that way. And so I'm, I really like the way this looks and I want to do another one for this insert. I started, okay, hold on, this is the beginning. I wrote down ideas for my fiber share partner in the summer of 2019. I think I took a photo, so I need to add that one as well. Then I started um, another shawl the, in Germany because I had to frock the lead stitch together shawl earlier. And so that is the progress photos here. This is the yarn I used. And then I just I put together color combinations of um, yarn that I really liked. This one was a D-stash from Bay Street Yarns. I ordered all three of those. And then I started the Namibia shawl as another knit along with my friend Tina. However, I have actually frogged mine because I just don't like the way it is turning out. I like the colors, these ones, but I don't like the size. I am at, I knit up to the point where my shawl was going back, thinning back out. So you start at one end and I could see that I didn't like the way the width and I didn't like the length. It was just too short and too small, so I decided to frog it and didn't don't didn't continue with it anymore. And then I started a granny stripe blanket. Again, I didn't print photos yet, and I have also started some more projects that need to be filled in. But this is what this a knitting journal looks like. Okay, so then I am just keeping this paper clip on, is it? It's a binder clip, um, on the front and back of these two notebooks. I have this one tucked in here as well. I don't really need it because this one is still on the beginning of the pages, but I just like the way it fills up the leather cover and since I don't take this anywhere, it stays at home. It doesn't really matter how bulky and how full and chunky it is. Um, I use that binder clip to clip my pen to it. And this is what I use to write in here most of the time. And I, I'm not um, a pen snob in this notebook, so it works fine for me. How are you keeping track of your knitting projects or any kind of uh, crafty projects that you have? Do you have a speci special notebook for it? Leave a comment below. I would love to chat with you. I hope to see you soon. Until then, bye.